What's going on guys? Blame Truth here, the Codfather himself, bringing you another video. Guys, it's almost time for the end of the month, and I take my, you know, January vacation. I've been doing this for the past couple years, since I rebooted my YouTube channel. January is bad for ad revenue, and um, usually I'm already done with the current Call of Duty game. However, with this game, it's a bit different, because I tapped out about a month ago now. I lasted on this game roughly a month, a little bit over a month, and I have nothing and no reason to ever revisit it again, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, in this particular commentary, I want to cover this piss-poor content drip we have, and the fact that this game, I mean, again, man, they, they sucked their own dick all year until they emitted powder into their own mouths, just about how this game is the most advanced Call of Duty of all time, how it's made by 3,000 plus devs, how it has three years of dev time, and it has not shown, it has not come across in any facet. Nothing in this game looks like it was made with any amount of care. In fact, I, I would say, and I, I'm not even saying this to, to, to be dramatic, I'm not saying this in character, this is legitimately. I think the most disappointing Call of Duty release I have ever seen. There are certain Call of Duty games that you're iffy about, right? Like, you're thinking, well, Call of Duty Ghosts, hmm, this is a new IP, and then Ghost sucks. I'm sorry for those that like it, but it sucked. Come on, dude. It's, after Black Ops 2, they released that piece of shit. Get, get the fuck over yourself. I, I get that it's better than the current crop of Call of Duty games, but that's not saying much, man. I'd rather be pissed on than shit on. It doesn't mean I'd rather have either happen if I can help it. But then you have games like Call of Duty Vanguard. There's no expectations. There's almost expectations for the games to be bad, right? But this game, I kept hearing from, from so many people, from the devs themselves, from Activision, and I even had a little bit of hope, too. I, I thought, I thought this was going to be... A learning experience. I thought they would learn from the mistakes of Modern Warfare 2019, and trust me, I know people like that game too. That game had a lot of issues, a lot of problems. It's not the game for me. I didn't want to play it. So, I thought they would learn something from that game. And they learned nothing! Absolutely nothing! In fact, they forgot stuff! They didn't just not learn stuff. They forgot stuff that was good! Like, like, you know, who asked for the gunsmith to be changed? It's different in this game. It's worse, you know? Like, just the fact that... The perk system, another example. Just, just, oh my god. And this content drip, guys. As games progress, right? Like, as, as game technology and games progress, they should improve upon certain things. This game had all the time in the world. 3,000 devs. Three years of dev time. <sighs> the amount of maps and content we have is it's not good and I'm not talking just throw a bunch of maps and guns in my face because we've seen that truthfully we, we've seen that I mean that's good I, this game de desperately needs more maps but this game should have launched with like 20 maps even if it did launch with 20 maps and they were all good I think I'd still be a little bored because there's nothing to do so here's what I don't understand with these seasons and this content drip it's the same shit We've been getting dripped since 2019. Dropped? Dr dripped? Whatever. It's the same stuff that we've seen a million times before. A new season comes out. Here's a few new maps. Here's a gun or two, which is usually a reskin. Now, nowadays, the maps are reskins. And you, you call it a day. The actual content seems to be all going to, to Warzone or whatever. I mean, I guarantee you they're going to bring back Gun Game and then tout it as this new feature. You know, like they took that away too. That's going back to the things they've forgotten. Where the hell is gun game? I didn't like it, but people did. Some people did. This whole content drip system, it just does not work. Every single day, guys, I check the Steam charts and you can go check them right now. I'm not making this up. I'm not saying this just to hate on Call of Duty, but every single day, this game is bleeding players. There is a very clear and obvious downtrend in the amount of people playing this game on PC at the very least. And I'm not talking like, that's not just multiplayer. That's not just single player. That's not just DMZ. That's not just Warzone. That's all the modes combined. Every single day, people are checking out of this franchise on this two-year hype to high heaven, hype to hell, to low hell game. And 
it's not sustainable. I don't know if they're just self-sabotaging. I don't know. I, I truly don't understand the lack of anything. There, there's no fucking soul anywhere to be found in any mode, in any in any game mode. There's nothing fun. There's nothing remotely new. There's nothing new. Zero. Zero things are new in this game. And you can say the perk system's new. It's not. Clocks have always been around. Timers suck. <laughs> you know? Timers have always sucked. And it, it makes no difference if you put it with the perk system or whatever. It sucks in this game. It's not innovation. I truthfully do not understand it. I, I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. This game has unlimited resources, man. They could hire so many people just to reskin some maps, think up some new game modes. You can even bring back stuff like wager matches. When I really think back to my time playing this game, and I mean, I'm serious. I'm already done. I, I have no desire to play this. You can check my gameplay folder. I have nothing since the start of December, pretty much. I think I downloaded the uh, update just to see what they broke. And I, you know, played it that day, but I didn't even play a match, I don't think. I don't. I haven't even played Shipment. I have no reason to play Shipment. I played Shipment 15 goddamn years ago! You know? I played Shipment last year! I played it in 2019, model for 2019. I didn't really play that game, but I did play a little bit of Shipment. It's a long story. Someone paid me on stream to do it because they know I hate the game. The, the point is, like, dude, what is Call of Duty? I, I don't think it even knows what it is anymore. And you could sit there and you could say, I'm a complainer. And you could sit there and say, and I've seen people do this, the biggest, stupidest hypocrites I've ever seen saying, I make the same video over and over. Look at what you're playing, you dumb sack of hair. Look at what you're playing. Someone, please, someone out there in the comments section right now, whether you like my videos or not, maybe you're here and you don't like them. Tell me what's new in this game. Tell me one thing that's new. That I haven't seen before. Seriously, I I'm waiting. I I'll be waiting for a long ass time because there's nothing. Everything in this game, I've seen in some form before. Every weapon, every reskinned weapon, the, the Chimera or whatever, is, is the Honey Badger from Ghost. I've seen it. I've seen it. Skip it. Skip it. This is like a cutscene that I don't like that I've seen 40 times. Skip it. Skip it. I can't skip it. I'm hammering the button. I'm hammering it right now. Bang, bang, bang. It's not skipping. I'm forced to watch it like that scene in A Clockwork Orange where his eyes are held apart by metal utensils. I am so bored. Legitimately bored. I'm not saying it as a catchphrase. I'm not saying it to make you laugh. There is nothing to do. There is nothing to play for. There is nothing new. When I think back to my time playing this game for a month, the only amount of joy I had was when, A, there were some guns that I liked that they brought back, like the 74U. I had some nostalgia with it. The MP5. There was some nostalgia with it. It wasn't this game. It was better games that they <laughs> took the guns from and put in this game. It wasn't actually this game. I'm sorry, but it wasn't. Um, I don't know what to tell you. That and then when Shoe House came out, that was a new experience for me because I didn't play Modern Warfare 2019. A lot of you guys played that shit for three years. You're probably sick of it. It was a quote-unquote new map for me. And that just got me thinking, if they actually just tried to come up with some new stuff. I mean, th there's no reason, absolutely no reason, this game should not have launched with 20 maps. Not just 20 maps, but 20 of the best maps we have ever seen. There's no reason. None. Absolutely none. I could hire... A team of 50 Call of Duty players, right? Like modders or whatever. I could hire 50 of them. And in three months, they will give us... I'm not even kidding. This, they could literally do this. In three months, they could, they could give us 20 of the best multiplayer maps we have ever seen. They could probably think of some new game modes. They could probably think of some new perks that we haven't seen either. If I give them six months, we have like the, the blueprint the best Call of Duty game of all time. When I say 50 players, I mean like 50 
dedicated modders, 50 actual good players, players that have played the franchise and, and the Call of Duty games for a long time. The fact of the matter is this, man. This game, it it's just not it. And I hate to take a break in January. Guys, if this game was good, I would gladly play it and keep covering it like all January long. I don't need a vacation. I'm taking a vacation because I'm bored. <laughs> like, you know, I am bored. B-O-R-E-D, bored. I know I'm not the only one. And the game is bleeding players. Do they just not care? Are they making that much money from the pay pigs that buy these cringy ass virgin skins? Is your purple anime dildo pack addiction keeping this game alive? Anonymous? <laughs> I'm out of time, man. I'm going to keep this a little short because, I mean, what's there to talk about? We're all bored. Let's go take a nap, guys. I want to suplex Joe Setgott through a nursery. Peace out. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I? Of course you don't. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Don't do that! 